this card project, I am going to use the watercolor brush pens. I got this set at Marshall with the very affordable price. Um, so I just got it very randomly. And it's okay if you don't have these brush pens, you can still use watercolor. And it also will work well with other mediums such as color pencils, wash or oil pastel. Feel free to explore and try out any mediums that you like. And my color palettes for this project are coral pink, red, olive green, and dark green. I will also use pencil, black pen, and an eraser for this project as well. The idea is to have a big written message in the center and surround it with different Christmas doodle drawings. So for doodle ideas, you can draw whatever you like that represent for Christmas, holiday, winter theme. I am thinking of a gift with a bow, uh, gloves with a cute design on it, or Christmas stockings, or winter botanicals like cedar, pine leaves, olive ornaments, um, mittens, a beanie hat, etc. So I'm sketching out them with pencil first. I'm not really good at drawing, so if I can do it, you can do it as well. Um, so the best way is you can search for reference image and uh, draw accordingly. Just follow the basic shapes. Kind of fun doodling illustrative style. I saw this style a lot on um, some of the bullet journals videos where people draw to decorate their bullet journals and I think that they look absolutely cute and very easy to do. I recently just got a new sketchbook, just a small one, and a pen at the Dollar Trees. And surprisingly, the pen is pretty good. Um, the sketchbook, not so great, but decent quality. And it's fine to me because I just plan to use it to practice drawing, doodling. Um, and um, I was thinking of sharing the process and how it goes with you guys in the future videos. I'm very happy and can wait to share it. And after the sketching is done, I will go over with the watercolor pens. Uh, you will do the same with the medium of your choice. But if you use watercolor, make sure to erase some of the uh, sketching lines because you don't want the light to slow through uh, with the watercolor layers on top. Um, as you can see, that my doodling is very simple. It, they all come in very basic shapes. But once you use colors to apply on top of the sketching uh, it will absolutely transform and turn it into a very nice and lovely illustration these brush pens are pretty good i don't remember exactly how much but i'm sure it cost me under 20 bucks and it comes with um about 20 different colors so it's absolutely a very good deal even though these um, pens are not from the well-known brand but the quality is great as you can see here the colors are vibrant and the tips of the brush go very smoothly on the paper i really like them and i plan to use them more in my paintings It feels so relaxing to paint around this time with some Christmas jar music playing in the background. When it comes to Christmas, I love the pre-holiday time. I feel the most holiday vibe around this time when people are rushing to finish work to be on their vacation, on the store are having stunning decorations, all the sales going on to attract customer, people go shopping for presents, then the shopping mall extended hours, people hang out late, and then you can listen to Christmas music on your commute that playing in the radio. It is just feeling very good around this time. This painting is pretty simple and straightforward, so um, you basically can see everything on the screen that I don't have much to say. 
That's why I added a little chit chat in between, and I hope you don't mind. Actually, I love when the others artists have a little chit chat about their life here and there in the videos where they sharing some short of tutorials. I kind of feel relatable, um, fun, and connected in some ways. So that's why I want to do the same here. Um, I think a little chit chat would make it more friendly, just like with friends and spending time to band together. And after finishing with all the doodlings, I will go over the text in the middle with red. Red is the color representing for holiday, Christmas, and it's make the design look more festive and Christmassive. And finally, to add a little extra, I use my black pen and fill up the white gap in between with little dots. I think it adds the sparkling effect and make the card look more complete. And now we're done. This one is just so fun to make and I love that I get a chance to practice my drawing. Alright, so let's move on to the third card idea. For this one, I am going to go with five different colors for my Among Your Watercolor Pen set. It's dark green, olive, orange, dark red, and white. If you, I have a little tip for you. So if you mix a color, any color with white, either wash or watercolor, uh, it will lighten the shade of that colors and also it will give you um, the look of pastel so if this is something that you like feel free to give this tip a try so we're going to paint some flowers on two corners top and bottom these are just loose flowers i am just gonna paint the basic shapes you want to learn how to paint different flowers with watercolor I have another video that show the step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can paint um, different flowers so feel free to check that out. I will link in the description below for all of you if you are interested. And then I'm gonna paint some leaves, some winter leaves like a pine leaf, olive to make it look like a complete little bouquet and you're gonna repeat the same step at the outer corner. I'm sorry if you can hear the difference in my tone of voice um, is actually because I did the voice over for the video at different time of the days so at this time as you can hear my voice very low because I actually recorded it at in the morning it's, it's a Saturday morning so I woke up early and tried to finish the video so that I can upload it the same day All we done was painting the flower flowers at two corners. Um, so I decided to grab my black paint and start outlining um, the the painting as well to give them some more at definition. Um, so you don't really need to outlining every single thing in the painting. Just kind of um, do some that you need. You think that may need some more def definition so that the um, the viewers know what what it is that we are painting um, just leave some place for I would say imagination because this is a loose painting and also the black outlinings can also add some texture and characters and contrast for the painting as well and in the middle you can write any holiday message 
that you like. I think this design will be perfect if you love painting flowers or for the receiver who loves botanical nature in general. This will definitely brighten up their days. And the final step is to grab my red brush pen to add a little extra red dots here and there uh, just to make it fun and more festive. Alright guys, here's the final look of the cards and um, if you like these tutorials, make sure to check out the holiday cards playlist I have done in the past. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. I wish you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!